Hey, hello guys, I am Miai. Welcome, welcome. Today we're gonna do a aim booster test video between these two mouse, the XM1 version 2, it's the updated version, and the Cooler Master MM711 with holes inside of it. This is the XM1, very popular mouse with good mouse feed, ultra flex cable, good click buttons, and this the Cooler Master MM711, also a popular mouse, and with tactile buttons, a little bit claw grip, and low weight as well with a flexible cable. Let's dive a little bit in, and then we go in deeper, deeper on the ground. The Cooler Master MM711. The specs. Pitched side buttons with a honeycomb design. Very nice and with an mm hmm mm hmm shape. I like it though, it's claw grip. It comes in with an ultra flexible snow white cable. The specs from the XM1 V2. Poof! This shape is awesome with rounded mouse buttons with a very grippy coating. Scroll wheel, very has a whiff with the logo that's not be into your face. It's nice shape with PTFE. -E. So it's finally time for aim booster guys and we're gonna do it on the GSR SE. We're gonna do three tests on both mice. So yeah, one learning the aim booster again, getting it settled and then trying to get a high score. Both on 600 mouse DPI on a GSR SE. Favorite mouse pad, especially with PTFE mouse feed guys. So let's go and let's go. <laughs> Are you guys ready? This is the XM1 software, 600 DPI, yellow profile underneath and the MM711, 600 DPI because that's the active one. And now we're going to aim booster and I did a practice run with the XM1, 90. Oh my God, it was so bad. I'm normally a high DPI gamer, and but today I do for you guys 600 DPI, my old school DPI level. Let's rock on, three attempts guys. On this BenQ GSR SE. Such a smooth combination with PTFE. It's nice. I like the combination. PTFE mouse feet are gorgeous with GSR SE. In my opinion. It's based on my opinion, guys. But I will not get a very high score because I also talk. Oh my god, so bad. 88. <laughs> we can all laugh together. <laughs> LOL. Guys, 88. Okay, attempt number two. Let me grip it. Yes. 88. Can we beat 88, guys? I had my highest score is 300 with another mouse, actually, and it was years ago. I'm not doing this much anymore. Aim booster, it's fun, but I have Kofax nowadays. It's actually better, I think. For higher DPI, like what I use, 1900 DPI, guys. Unbelievable, right? Oh my god. 59. <laughs> okay, at 10 number 3. 88, guys. We need to do a little bit better. I never performed very well with the X and 1. I don't know. I felt like the shape was perfect for me with rounded mouse buttons. A very grippy texture, PTFE, ultra flex cable, but I just don't perform very well. Maybe because of the lift off distance, I'm not sure. But yeah, let's see if we can beat 88, guys. Focus, focus, me I. You can do this. You can do better than 88. 88 problems, but I ain't one. 99 nine. Okay, okay, okay. 
come on, focus, 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 focus. We can do this together, higher than 88, higher than 88. Oh no. 123, 123. Woo! Yes! Oh no, 123! <laughs> Guys, it's not so good score. I tried my best with this XM1. It's in great shape, very grippy coating. I like it. PTFE combination with GSR, pretty nice. But it feels like spongy, spongy on the mousepad, like point, 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 like SpongeBob, you know? But yeah. I didn't perform very well because I not per play it very often anymore, aim booster. But it's still amazing flash flash game. But uh, yeah, guys, it was my favorite actually. But nowadays it's Kovax. <laughs> or uh, in Valorant you also have a FPS trainer. So I li I like to play a Valorant with my shooter games. So yeah, let's go for the Cooler Master MM711 right now. Okay, finally time for the Cooler Master MM711. I did one warm up and it got 76. So let's see if we can beat 123. And yeah, Cooler Master MM711. Ooh, it has more speedy mouse case. So I need to focus a little bit more. But I need to make it a little bit entertaining as well, because otherwise I get video comment, comments like it's boring. Sorry guys, I don't want to make a boring video, so I try to do multiple things at the same time. And actually... Clicking very well with the MM711. Found the rhythm. I found the rhythm. Woo! -hoo! Rhythm focusing. Precision programmer. Woo! It was too tiny. <laughs> nah! 172 guys. Wow. Just wow. I think this is enough. One attempt is enough to beat three attempts of the XM1. The Cooler Master MM711 did won the test. I did three attempts with the XM1. I get 123. And with this Cooler Master MM711, I get in the first attempt 172. Does that mean anything? It means a little bit I like the shape. I like everything of this mouse. See this cable, guys? A Snow White Ultra Flex cable. I like it. But what I don't like, the holes on the top, I don't mind. They are not in my way of my positioning of my hands. But on the side, I grip it and I grip it, uh, I cannot show you guys, I grip it on the holes. And that feels an awkward for me, you know? So is this really a keeper or a dropping uh, in a trash can? <laughs> I never drop gaming mouse in a trash can, guys, don't worry. But um, it's a keeper for me at least, but it's definitely not my favorite mouse because of this side hole honeycomb design. It's just the pattern is into my fingers and it doesn't hurt or anything, but it's still in my fingers. And I feel the honeycomb underneath and it feels awkward. So in my opinion, a Razer Viper Mini is more suitable for my playstyle. But I don't own that mouse, so Steve9, you need to give it me for free. But guys, this mouse won the test from the XM1. They're both pretty good, doesn't mean anything. You feel this one is more has more weight. It is around 70 grams and this one around 56 grams. You feel it. If I hold it like this, I feel definitely this XM1 is more has more weight to it. They're both great mice. I liked actually the buttons, rounded buttons of the XM1 a little bit more. But the clicks on the MM711 is better in my opinion. I like the low weight and the Teflon underneath more on the MM711. But I like the grip coating of this mouse more. But it also attracts more dirt and, and 
see if you hold it a little couple of seconds you see like weird sweating patterns i don't like that it feels a little bit icky a little bit icky guys so both great mouse i can't suggest one is better than the other one of course this one did want to test the m m711 but i think it's because i'm a pro gamer <laughs> guys thanks for watching i hope you liked this video Thump it up, consider maybe subscribing, and otherwise I may see you when you get there, you know. Bye guys, thanks for watching, bye bye.